In this session, we are going to see how to merge two tables. Of course, the two tables share a common reference. So, let's first import it. Let me show you the table uh, so you understand this better. So, we are going to import a product table on a sales table. Okay. Both containing uh, product ID and uh, one table containing unit price and the other containing unit sales. Right. So, we want to create a table in which uh, both unit price and unit sales are there. Okay. So, let me first import it. Uh, so, this is an Excel file, right? We will wait for this importing to be completed. So, let me click this. As indicated, we have process product reference ID and unit price. Let's load this. Okay. And we will also load the uh, other table, right? Uh, this is the product table, and the other one is the sales table. See here, uh, this information has been loaded. Now let's uh, rename this as product, okay? And let's import the other table. Now. The other table is the sales table. Let's import it now. And we will also rename the table that has been imported. Okay. So, you can see here product ID and product reference ID are one and the same. So, we are going to create a, a table in which we will have this product ID, unit sold and unit price. Right. Uh, I want to uh, highlight a couple of things here that there are multiple ways in which the tables can be joined. Okay. Now let's rename this and I will demonstrate uh, the different types of joins. Okay. So for this, you click transform data that will take us to the power query because the merging uh, of tables will happen in power query right so this is the power query editor uh, where we will be merging the two tables we have the product table product id and the unit price is there and in the sales table you have product reference id but it is the same as the product id and unit sold information is there right if you see this the two tables a, B, C are common to both the tables, right? However, G and H, G is unique to the product table and, and in the sales table, H is unique, which means details of H is not there in product, okay? So, how will you add the two table? You come here to merge queries. Let's click this, merge queries. This is the product table to which you are going to add info from sales table. You have to select the column that is matching to both. Let's select this and let's also select this. That's all. Okay. What other types of join? Okay. There are many joins that are there. You have left outer join, right outer join, full outer, inner, left ante, right ante. Six types of joins are there. Okay. So, I will explain each one of the joins now, okay. These are the two tables that I just showed to you, right. Product table and sales table. I am calling it as table X and table Y for easy reference. That's all, okay. We saw six types of joins there. First, let's see this, okay the full outer join that means all rows from x and y are getting added if you see here information from this is getting added to this table that's what is happening okay we have product id unit price and unit sold is getting added to this right full outer join is all rows from x and y right 
all rows from x and y are getting added this particular field will be vacant right this is full outer joint now come to left outer joint right all from x and matching from y all from x is what a b c right and g is also there what are the matching elements from x and y it is a b c right is this clear and right outer join is all from y that is a b c and h and matching from x matching from x x is a b c right information for this is not there and hence this will be blank so what is inner join we have seen left outer join right outer join inner join is only those that are matching between x and y that is only a b and c right there is no g or h right we have already seen full outer join then what is left anti join rows in table x but not y okay that is only rows that are unique to table x so you only have g right and right anti join is rows that are unique to y that is rows in y but not in x so i need to exclude a b c you will only have h is this clear to you if it, this is still confusing let's see this visual okay in fact this type of join is also known as append because we are just adding the two right we are just adding the two right let's see this visual here i have two circles right here all from x and matching y this area represents matching y right similarly right outer join is all from y matching x so this area is there here only matching between x and y the only the intersection area is there here everything is getting added if you see this place i exclude anything that is there in the intersection also right and everything that is there in y and similarly the right join i don't consider what is there in intersection also clear is left anti join right anti join is it clear after seeing this visual okay do you understand left anti join and right anti join we include only that is there in x but not in y even the intersection area is not included similarly in right anti join only the rows that are unique to y are included right anything that is there in intersection is also not included clear now let's get back to the uh, power query editor and we will choose the left outer join right you can try any one of the six joints i just explain the concepts to you so left outer we'll click okay see the info from the sales table has been added and if you want to undo the merging you just need to come here and click the uh x mark you know that appears in red okay now this is showing a stable right now to get the unit sold information right all you need to do is um, click this okay uh, click this now let's choose unit sold right and click okay that's it right here we don't have any information and hence it is showing as now clear very simple right i hope you understand the concept of join remember that venn diagram 